In terms of teaching in the mother tongue, um, a program has also been launched <clears throat> that will boost uh, reading for school children in their mother tongue. Millions of grants has been spent on developing books written in um, mother tongue. The project is turning participating South African teachers into authors as well on topics mainly around uh, science and mathematics and life orientation. A language and education policy was designed as well to encourage multilingualism and respect for diverse languages. To date, we have a high number of final year high school students, um, particularly from the white communities, who are actually taking, and, uh, taking up African languages <coughs> and uh, doing very well. A host of strategies and policy initiatives have been developed. For example, the South African Schools Act of 1996 extended more power and potential for participation to parents and communities. Development of place for teachers has been put in place in order to provide educators with a more transparent and supportive means of professional development. A significant amount of effort has gone into changing the school curriculum. Outcomes-based education looks to the knowledge, skills, and values required for participation in a new, united, and democratic South Africa. An OBE, therefore, that most importantly contributes to the development of a common citizenship and the values we thought were important for the healing and reconstruction of our society. In 1999, a discussion document was prepared on values, education, and democracy. The document focused on the values of equity, tolerance, multilingualism, openness, honor, and accountability. Deliberations at a conference in 2001, entitled Soundtrack, Values, Education, and Democracy in the 21st Century, the research report, and the public submissions the ministry received in response to a public advertisement were used to prepare the Manifesto of Values, Education, and Democracy, which was launched in 2002. This document highlights 10 values from the Constitution, namely democracy, social justice and equity, equality, non-racism and non-sexism, Ubuntu, which means human dignity, an open society, responsibility, respect, the rule of law, and reconciliation. And all these values are threaded throughout the school curriculum in the manner in which the children are taught in the subject matter too. Um, I can say that um, I believe that we have laid the foundations of a vibrant democracy in South Africa. We have established a parliament that represents the will of the people, an open, diverse, and pluralist society, peace and reconciliation, following decades of division and discrimination. In short, a society that many countries, in times of division, look to for models and solutions. But there are also dark demons crying at the doors of this precious peace. The demons of poverty, social strife, religious fundamental, uh, fundamentalism, and lack of understanding of each other. The South African government is committed to fighting hard to make sure that our nation maintains the bonds that keep us together and sustain our pride in what we have achieved. Our children who did not grow up during the apartheid struggle will need to be reminded of our past and of the values we strove for. The past teaches us about our roots, our humanities, our, our humanities, our differences and similarities, about the achievements that we celebrate and the mistakes that we want to avoid. History is a tool of education to show the youth the way to the future. My mother was also a great educationalist. In fact, um, she was until her death the chancellor of the largest residential university on the African continent. And I'll finish with something that she said, and I quote, she used to say, our fight is not quite done. Let us fight for the right to be literate, to be questioning, to be educated. Only then, together, will we truly be able to claim that we have won our liberty. Education, education, education all the way. I thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Ms. Temple, for sharing with us your most um, insightful speech. I'm sure that it um, requires a lot of courage for a nation like uh, South Africa to um, deal with your history. Um, 
confront the past, but at the same time look towards the future and to um, recreate national unity. Um, 跟住落嚟，我哋係第二位嘅誒、嗯、講者。誒、嗯、未介紹第二位講者之前咧，誒、嗯、或者可能大家都睇到我哋呢一節嘅主題係國民身份認同的反思，副題係誒、嗯、誰是愛國者。誒、嗯、我相信喺過去呢幾年裏邊嚟講，喺香港如果大家講到誒邊、呃、一位係愛國者，邊一位係誒、嗯、會。用盡一切努力去保護言論自由嘅， um, 我相信大家都會諗起呢個名字。程長先生，多謝李大龍教授嘅介紹。其實誒、uh, ，我唔係好中意。我成為愛國者咧，就襯攞出有人唔係做愛國，或者有,有人唔係愛國者，咁我覺得唔啱嘅呢樣嘢。即係我嘅認知嚟講咧，就係我身為中國人，我個個都愛國，冇話所謂邊個愛國，邊個唔愛國。之所所以點解會整成誒壁壘分明咁，有所謂愛國陣營，有不愛國陣營。呢啲完全都係一種即係政治嘅嘅運作，使到外國呢個本來比較係高尚情操嘅嘢咧，變成一啲即係好嚴肅嘅嘢。所以變到我一開始寫呢篇誒諗呢篇 speech 嘅時候咧，我覺得咧要翻到最 basic 嘅嘢就係乜嘢乜嘢係愛，乜嘢係愛，好似好好無釐頭咁樣，點解要講一輪即係即係解釋咩叫愛國？因為我想 drive home 一個 fact， 就係愛係一種好自然嘅感情嘅流露，係唔應該受政治嘅污染嘅。我我自己自己覺得咧，愛首先係一種對人、對羣體、對國家一種善良嘅真摯嘅感情嘅流露。佢係一種唔追求回報嘅感情嘅付出，係對你所愛嘅對象。一種無條件嘅負責任嘅一種態度，一種承擔。佢係唔需要宣諸於口嘅，即係等於我哋起身，每日起身唔會話對住老豆老母講：爸爸媽媽我愛你，或者對住個仔個女話：阿仔啊女啊我愛你，唔需要嘅，即係唔需要宣諸於口嘅，而係見諸你行動嘅。當你要宣諸於口。你愛得你快，你愛國，佢唔愛國，咁嘅時候咧，已經係一種好扭曲嘅感情㗎啦。咁咧，隨住咧就係愛之深咧，責之咧，亦都必然好切。啊，所以我就好唔同意話愛國就只能夠即係講國家嘅好處啊，即係避毀國家嘅一啲問題啊咁樣。咁所以我就好強調咧。人人都係有愛國心，所以唔應該即係去 label 一個人咧係愛國者或者誒即係即係非愛國者。本來呢個題呢、這個最早個時候個題目咧就係話一為香港愛國者嘅反思，咁話唔好，即係咁樣咧就變成咧就就好好扭曲地話一某個人係愛國，然之後 imply 咧其他人咧就唔愛國喎。呢個唔係事實，大家都愛國，愛嘅方式唔同，愛嘅心情唔同。但係，只要你身上係係呢個留住而亡嘅嘅子孫嘅嘅嘅血嘅時候咧，我哋大家都係愛國者。咁好啦，咁誒、呃，從嗰個愛國個定義開始之後，我哋我哋再睇下點解愛國呢個名詞。即係近呢幾年嚟喺香港似乎變成一個即係好好庸俗化嘅嘅嘅一樣嘢咁樣。我哋成日都話誒誒，即係啲嘅機笑有啲人叫做忽然愛國